So then we go to Ray and Luke, and I hate that he throws the. Oh, I hate it so much. Uh, it I pisses never... me off so much. I never had much of a problem with it. I thought it kind of really it... summed up where his character was. It just makes him feel like, be well, like such okay, a well, little well, moody a, child. That's, that's a good subject to start on. What, what do you think of Luke in this film? Because a lot of people are saying, "Oh, well, he's not the Luke of old." And even Mark Hamill, he very evidently didn't like it. And obviously, I don't like what they did with his character. I love what they did with his character. Mm-hmm. I thought it was fantastic because it was different. In that, it, I think he's a fucking Jedi Knight, not a little girl. Like, come on, like it's ridiculous. From a little girl, yeah. Or a little teenager, <laughs> little teenage boy or girl, like. Yeah, but then you have to look at it in. If you look at it from the original trilogy perspective, he was what like eighteen, and he lived on a f- farm get moisture out of the ground and then he got thrown into this role that he was the almighty leader and I think to have a character just be all powerful and all good can't have moments of doubt is boring yeah but it's not just having moments of doubt it's completely going the opposite end of the spectrum I know he, he, he yeah he did he kind of did a 180 but I I just found it interesting at least there was something to him it wasn't just yeah I'm really good I'll teach you how to be a Jedi, and we'll move along the film. At least there's some conflict. It's different. In there. You can't fault that they've tried to do something different, but in my opinion, I feel like it's so out of character from what we established with him in the original trilogy. Yeah, but then there's been 30 years, technically, isn't there? So you, you kind of... I, I think it'd be more boring if she goes to that planet and he's just got a... a her, Temple, a Jedi temple, teaching loads of Jedi's, and has been cracking off. No, of course, no, of course. But obviously, years. the story would have been altered. You can't. It wouldn't just. It wouldn't be that boring. There'd obviously be other things like thrown in to make it more of an interesting story. But just feel like the way that they made his character just didn't seem. It did not sit right with me. There's actually a line which he says, and it really, really aggravated me. I had to write it down. He okay. goes, "I came to this island to die." Yeah. No. No. Well, you did. You're a fucking Jedi master. Yeah, but he, oh, yeah, but I come he's... here to die. I'm so depressed. Oh, look at me. I'm now <laughs> drinking milk from all the... Fuck that. Great scene. It's, great scene. Come on. Oh, great it's scene. so terrible. The way he looks like, what? This is, my so every, this is my every day. What do you want me to do? This is the geezer that like bought Vader back to... Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I really like it. Yeah, but I like, I like it. What I like is that he's gone through so much... And he felt there was going to be a new Vader with uh, Ben. So, yeah, why wouldn't he want to shut that shit down? And, uh, you know, he recognises he failed himself. And I think it's interesting that, that you can give him that self-doubt. Maybe, you know, at times it did go over the top, like when he's sucking milk out the tea yeah. of that weird alien. <laughs> Been on my island for a long time. Which I love. I thought <laughs> yeah. it was so funny. Uh, but I, I, you know, Luke is one of the things I like most about him. And, it, it, as you say, at least they tried something. At least, they, you know, may, there are points, there are parts about Luke that didn't work. But there are a lot of points that did. I just, I, it, at least they tried something. I, and I always commend Ryan Johnson for at least if he did something. Very much. And, 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 and I'll, I'll agree with you on that. Fair play to him for trying something different. Hats off. What I like didn't about work, him, though. is he, he, um, he just basically didn't give a shit, did he? Well, that he is what angers me so much. Fan. But I like that because he's going... Yeah, but as a fan... Yeah, but then you're saying how divisive everything is and how fans can't agree. And no. he's like, oh, well, just sod it. Like, no, this is it's what it not, is. but it's not... It's not... Ju- it's, it's so... It's, it's disrespect in a way. It's not right. Everything was set up so nicely. And he took every point which was set up from, from the first one and went, now, fuck that. Snoke? Nah, not really feeling that. Knights of Rem? Not necessary. Canterbite? Oh, that looks good. But there was obviously there was obviously aspects of Force Awakens he didn't like and he didn't like ideas, which is a point we'll, we'll come to later. Obviously, there was just no plan of the trilogy. Um, yeah, the Canterbite scene is really rubbish, and really, it's really on the nose. It doesn't need to be there. Do you know um, the funny thing, right? Because um, obviously, I remember watching it in the cinema with you, and that was. Um, do you remember when we left? Because you said, "What do you think?" And I was like, "Yeah, it was good." And you went. I'm really disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Close to tears, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I was so pumped for it, man. Like, so pumped for it. Um, and, yeah. I mean, getting off topic again. Talking about the Canterbite scene, right? So, the, the, the scene starts, right? The whole Canterbite scene, right? Um, when I rewatched it. So, this is actually only the second time I've seen it since we watched it in the cinema together. Yeah, so I've we're, only we're, seen it twice. Yeah. 
I couldn't pull myself to, to watch it. And then obviously because we're doing a podcast about it, I thought probably best I watch this. So the scene starts and it started and they, you know, they go into the casino and stuff. And I'm thinking, okay, this isn't really my cup of tea, but I can't remember why I hated this scene so much. Um, and then about five minutes later, those fucking horse things come, come out. Oh, yeah. and, you just, and, and then I realised in that instant, yeah. This is why I hate this scene so much. Like it's 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 too on the nose. You know, they're saying stuff like, "There's only one thing that gets you this rich." It's like war, and then it's like, he's like, "Yeah, there's the bad guys." And he's like, "Oh, but you need weapons as well." Everyone's yeah. making, "Oh, fuck, this is this is really on the nose." And they, you know, they're pausing it to like free these animals because animal abuse is wrong, and it it, it it stops the whole film. It yeah. stops the whole film. It re- that, that is such an unnecessary. You can cut so much of it. Yeah, totally. it, it really does stop the whole thing and it adds nothing to Finn as a character that, like, that, that's what I, that's another thing I really hate that was filming at one point they done Finn so dirty so did by Skywalker I mean, yeah, yeah of course they but didn't it's do anything where can him. you go from what they did to him in this like, they didn't really understand what to do with him it was very evident that J.J. Abrams had plans for him to be force sensitive very evident I believe he was that's what he wanted to tell Ray didn't he well <laughs> but Ryan Johnson just once again just thought nah that is not being part of this, like. oh, they they evidently gave him too much. They they gave him too much free reign. Yeah, because they should have reeled in some of these stuff. But I at least there's there's some creativity going there. You know what else really annoyed me as well actually in that counterbite scenes when they're obviously all on the what are those animals called? I honestly don't know. Don't know. They're on the shit CG horses. I don't look, there's a scene. There was a scene that when he's riding it. Uh, and it looks really bad. They've yeah. also gone like on a mechanical ball going yeah, up yeah, and down yeah, and yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> put yeah. it all past him. Like. But like um that obviously they're on these they're on their horse things and it seemed like a film a scene from Harry Potter or something. And then this music kits in. I can't remember the music, but it's so cheesy and so like Disney-fied. And it was like that moment when you realise you're like, Disney has full grip on this Star Wars trilogy. Like mm. yeah, I mean that's actually a little uh, a little good sliding point into uh, watch Just Review's uh, last video about uh, Disney's involvement in the Star Wars universe. I am very positive on Disney's involvement. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've created mostly good stuff. They've created some bad stuff. They've created, you know, but they've created stuff like Mandalorian. It's fantastic. The comics are really good. It's not fantastic. Um, it's good. Oh, uh, uh, Force Awakens, great film. Yeah. Rogue, Rogue One, it's a good film. Rogue One's a good film. Um, Solo wasn't. No, Solo weren't great. They they mucked that up. Though. You know the problem. My my problem. You you probably disagree with me. Um, it's Kathleen Kennedy which is in charge of the yeah. right. Yeah. She's not the right person for the job. No, they always say that, don't they? Yeah, they keep saying that. She's... They need a Kevin Feige type there. <laughs>